Hello there. It's Eldnar Nivek. We're looking at the A-level maths course, um, core one, the first section. This is lesson six of a series on completing the square. So the spec says, complete the square for a quadratic polynomial and use this form to locate the vertex of the graph. So we start off with a ax squared plus bx plus c and we can arrange that as x plus b over 2, all squared, plus c, the constant term, minus b squared over 4, which is, of course, b over 2, all squared. And that gives us the complete square form. So that is the formula we use. Um, look at some real examples taken from the spec and from the from the exam questions. We've got x squared minus 6 plus 8. So we set up a bracket. We get x minus 3, that's b over 2, all squared, plus 8, that's the constant term, minus 9, which is b squared over 4, b squared being 36. So then x minus 3 all squared plus 8 minus 9 is minus 1. So you can see the vertex there is at the point 3 and the point 3, 1. So we take the, the x coordinate, change the sign, and so we get x equals 3 and y is minus 1. Another example, first of all if you're going to solve this equation from that completed square form, we get x minus 3 squared minus 1 equals 0, so x minus 3 squared equals 1, so So then we've got uh, x minus 3 equals plus or minus 1, square root of 1, which gives us the solutions x equals 4 and x equals 2. So that's how we can solve an equation from a completed square form. So you may be asked to solve the equation using completing the square, and that's how we do it. We've got another Example, then taking from the, the spec, x squared plus 2x plus 2. So we've got x plus 1 all squared, that's x plus b over 2 all squared, plus 2 the constant term, minus 1, which is 2 squared over 4, 4 over 4, which gives us minus 1. So we've got x plus 1 all squared, plus 2 minus 1 is x plus 1 all squared plus 1. If we went on to try and solve that one incidentally, we'd see we'd be left with x plus 1 all squared equals minus 1. So we couldn't solve it because we haven't got the square root of a negative number. Third example, x squared minus 8x equals 3. So set up a bracket, x minus 4 all squared, that's x minus b over 2. Sorry, x plus b over 2 all squared, minus 3 the constant term, minus 16, because 8 squared is 64, and 64 divided by 4 is 16. So we've got x minus 4 all squared, minus 19. So if we were to go on to solve that, we would see that we get x, x minus 4 all squared equals... Um, 19 plus 4, and we finish up with root 23 involved. So example 4, 2x squared plus 12x minus 5. That's a bit more complicated because x has not got uh, 1 as a coefficient. So we'll remove the 2 first. So to take a 2 out of the bracket, we've got 2 into x squared plus 12 divided by 2 is 6x minus 5 over 2. So that's our form 
um, x squared x squared plus bx plus c uh, equals now reduced to 1. So then we'll complete the square for the inside the bracket. We've got x plus 3 all squared minus 5 over 2 minus 9. We can then multiply out by 2, so we've got 2 into x plus 3 all squared minus 5 over 5, sorry 5 over 2 times 6 is 5, minus 18. So 2x plus 3 all squared minus 23. So then we could see the vertex would be at minus 3 and 23. And to solve that equation, we get x equals minus 3 plus or minus root 23. Next, because root 23 is a third, you could leave that in, uh, in third form. Another example, finish the examples with, again we've got the coefficient of x squared is not 1, it's 3 this time, so we're going to remove the 3. That's a straightforward one, take 3 out, square bracket, gives us x squared minus 4x plus 1. Complete the square for the section inside the bracket, so what we do is Remove the coefficient of x squared, then complete the square for the expression we've got inside the bracket. So, then multiply out again by the by the three in this case, the number outside the squared bracket. So we've got that, minus 12, 3 times minus 4 is minus 12, which gives us 3 into x minus 2 all squared plus 9, oh, sorry, minus 9. If we were to go on to solve that, you'd see that x minus 2 all squared equals 9 over 3, which will give us a solution of x equals 2 plus or minus root 3, and we'd leave that as that insert form. Some examples for you to try, just some for you to try at home, um, although you can pause the, pause the video at any time with the previous ones, but here, some for you to try. If you show that 2x squared, he was completing the square to show that 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 gives us that in the completed square form. Another one. If we can show that this x squared plus 14x plus 49 gives us in the completed square form gives us x minus 7 all squared. You might be able to see what happens to the 49 there. Finally, 2x squared plus 14x plus 28 equals what? Well, you have to solve that yourselves. So that's completing the square, which the specifications that is used to find the vertex 
and also we can use it to solve the equation. So thanks for watching, I hope to see you again soon.